More and more Canadian politicians continue to join the chorus of everyday Canadians who are fed up with lockdowns and think they need to stop. Lockdowns have now been afflicting municipalities and provinces and more importantly the people in them for close to a year. All after we were promised we just needed two weeks to flatten the curve. The latest is David Sweet, a federal member of parliament from southern Ontario who along with Ontario MPP Roman Baber took to the stage this week to speak out about why the lockdowns need to stop. Now, David Sweet is on his way out of politics right now. He's already said that he's not going to run again, which means when it comes to taking a bold stand like opposing lockdowns, he, politically speaking, doesn't have anything to lose. But that in and of itself is one of the dangers here. Why is opposing lockdowns something that can actually jeopardize your political career? Politicians have been kicked out of caucuses around the country for speaking out against it. Just look at Roman Baber himself in Ontario, as well as his former caucus mate, Belinda Carajalios. This is why we see the End the Lockdowns caucus growing. Current and former councillors, Reeves, mayors, MLAs, MPs, MPPs that have joined together to say enough is enough. We need to get back to work. While we look at governors in the United States that are saying we need to welcome in the great reopening, in Canada, lockdowns seem to be going further and further with no end in sight. Even when it looked like governments were getting ready to reopen things, concerns about the variants made it so that that so-called easing just wasn't to be. Conservative leader Aaron O'Toole was asked about David Sweet's public statements on this and had this to say. After a year of the pandemic, people are frustrated and tired. Frustration is understandable, but it should not lead to counterproductive behavior. My view and the view of the CPC is that we respect the work being done by our premiers and health officials throughout the crisis. They are trying to put the health of Canadians first. We all want the crisis to pass as quickly as possible and are frustrated by the slow pace of vaccine deployment in Canada. Our focus will remain on that and the need to plan for an economic recovery in all sectors and all parts of this country. The reality is opposing lockdowns is a remedy against the economic carnage that's being unleashed on this country. Opposing lockdowns is actually supporting economic recovery. So to call it unproductive or counterproductive to oppose that misses the mark. Reopening should be a national goal and a national priority. This shouldn't be something that's continued to be framed as fringe and it shouldn't be partisan. Liberals, New Democrats, Conservatives, Bloc Québécois, Greens, all should want people back to work. This isn't a right versus left battle. It's not just people on the right who have been put out of work because of these lockdowns. So why is it only politicians on the right and at that a small-ish subset of them that are speaking up to say we need to push back against these lockdowns? No one is disputing that we need to take health concerns seriously. But the antidote to that is not shutting down everything which we know doesn't work. That's why after a year of this, we are in a worse place, politicians tell us, than we were a year ago when lockdown 1.0 came. Remember, it wasn't just lockdown one, then it was lockdown two, and now we're being told that the third wave might actually be worse than the second wave. More politicians need to be speaking up and people in other sectors as well. Labor leaders, civil society groups, people in media to say, hey, you know what, lockdowns aren't working, so we are not going to abide by them. And we need a political culture and climate that is not vilifying those who take that stand. It shouldn't just be politicians that are on their way out the door that are willing to speak up and say we need to end the lockdowns. It should be everyone who has a constituency they represent of people that have no job security in the future because we have no certainty about our economy. For True North, I'm Andrew Lawton.